I need to remember this. This is, this is Sex Chronicles chapter uh, 35, verses 17, part 2. Uh, yes, I'm in the supermarket. And I'm driving some groceries for myself and my wife. So I'm fixing dinner tonight. But that's not what it's about. Part 2 is based on the mental capacity of people who put themselves in a sexual content on a daily basis or weekly basis or every month. But you put yourself in this situation, you put yourself in a situation, and I said to you before, it can mess your mind up. Literally, mess your mind up by sitting up here getting involved with these people and they have nothing for you. That's what I tell people. Are you in a relationship? And are you, are you, uh, hold on. So, I, I, I make this statement of, um, depends on the people who you messing with, you gotta make sure that you don't mess with people who's not beneficial for you, they're not beneficial with you, for you, they're not gonna help you. You're gonna get involved and get your mind all caught up in this uh, illusion that you're thinking that you got something to work with. But in reality, people just use you. They use your body. And sometimes they use your mind. So you have to, you have to understand. If you don't understand, you're gonna get yourself caught up in a whole lot of problems and issues. This is what I was telling you before. You've got to figure this thing out. It's not that difficult. But a lot of you think that you already have it all wrapped up, but it's, you really don't. It's just a fact. You don't have it wrapped up. Sex Chronicles chapter 35, verse 17, part 2. Okay, brothers and sisters. Sex Chronicles chapter 35, verse 17, part 2. The mental capacity of people having sex with multiple people and absorbing absorbing their energy behaviors Exorbing the energy behavior, right? Pay attention. You will see these people, man or woman, they're paranoid, they depress, they have a lot of negative baggage with them. And the way they survive out here. is the way they believe that it works for them. But the problem is these people interact with other people that other people are not skillful, not street wise, not understanding the behavior of cognitive dis Anunuous, excuse me, dis onuses, well, I'm saying it wrong. It's up, you know what I mean? I'm sorry. So I'm saying it wrong, not that I mean to me, because sometimes I study myself, but back to back to the sex chronicles, right? Back to the sex chronicles. Um the behavior of people, and then people are so gullible, religious people are gullible, and then these people they prey on them. Now you think that they don't prey on them, but they do. They they naturally do. So brothers and sisters, when I'm telling you this, it's a mental state of mind when these people are out here in these streets. These people are out here and they have, they are surrounded themselves and making themselves look like there are sheeps, but they're not. They're wolves. And they can look like anyone. 
They could look like anyone, brothers and sisters. This is just a fact. So what I'm saying to you, brothers and sisters, is be careful. Because these people exist. And when you get people who don't want to discuss these things, because they'll, they'll be like, oh, why are we talking negative? Listen, you got to clean the clock. You got to clean your backyard. You got to clean your your dresser drawer, if you will. Whatever you want to say, clean your ass. Because you can't be free and still or move forward and thinking all these different behaviors from people have just vanished. If you think this shit, you can, you, you think you can move wherever you want, right? And you say to yourself, oh, well, you know, I'm going to move to uh, Wyoming. I'm going to move into Michigan. And you believe that you can erase your identity. But guess what? You will mentally, psychologically, and definitely physically, you have to re-race. Erase your whole entire being. Of your behavior, your mental capacity, or all you're gonna do is just redo this shit over again. Because understand this shit. You know, some people, especially women, women like to hide their identity, and then when they find a man they can work with to a degree, they will pretend that they wasn't sexual promiscuous. And then they'll tell a guy, oh, you know, I really I'm not really like that. And here it is, anytime this female can get a dick in her, she doing it. Because it's a habit that she's been doing for years. And the worst kind, to my point, when a person wants attention, they want attention so bad, they are willing to sell everything about their ass. Another thing about this, brothers and sisters, men want attention too, but it's different. It's a different kind of tension. See, a woman, she will, she will, want this attention, either she's going to give her body up or she's going to do something stupid. She's going to do something stupid. Now, I said this before. The average women and men are not paying attention to sex the way you think. Sex Chronicles chapter 35, verse 17, part 2. The average female and man or male are not worrying about sex. I'm just telling you right now whether you think so. I'm talking about the people who are very promiscuous. And it doesn't matter what level of status quo financially. It doesn't matter are they poor or you want to call it the middle class. However you see fit, it does not matter. Okay, if you promiscuous, you promiscuous. Some females like, you know, some females like getting fucked in the ass. You got some males like getting fucked in the ass. By women. By women. You got some males want to get fucked in the ass by women. Huh? I bet you don't believe that, but there's just the facts. They got HBO specials long time ago. They said they still show that kind of shit. You know, you got pornographic films. They, sh they show that kind of shit. You know what I mean? But these are the sexual behaviors that fucks with your mind. You know what I'm saying? And if it fucks with your mind, you're going you're gonna to see strange behaviors from these people. Their behavior is going to be real strange. But when a motherfucker want to have sex, they don't give a fuck about your behavior. They just want to fuck you. This is Sex Chronicles. Chapter 35, verses 17, part 2. Peep the game. This is real. I'm going to see you on part 3. In part 3, I'm going to have some... I'm going to show you some video. See ya.